Kevin, the editor here, on November 10th, 2020, the Polk County Board of Education gathered in the Han Room of the Polk County College and Career Academy campus at Cedartown High School in order to have enough space to honor the 2020 Teachers of the Year from each school and the district-wide winner. All teachers are worth celebrating, so before posting this video honoring the district-wide Teacher of the Year for 2020, I want to first honor all of those winners with this posting of the full ceremony during the meeting. Also, thank you to all teachers who continue to provide our youth with education, even during these difficult times we're all going through right now. Great, I think that's why we're here tonight. Teacher of the Year, Ms. Atkins. Yes, this is a wonderful time each year that we are able to join together and celebrate the wonderful teaching that goes on in Polk School District. But not just the wonderful teaching, but the people that are behind this. We appreciate you. We're so thankful for the love and the dedication that you give to our students each and every day, the support that you give to our other teachers, you give to the administrators. Thank you for being a part of our PSD family. We love you and we appreciate you. If we could have our principals line up against this wall so that when Dr. Thomas calls your name, you can come up and introduce, tell a few words about your teacher of the year and um, introduce them. Before we begin announcing our Teachers of the Year, we would like to say a special thank you to NFP and Shaw Hankins. Here tonight is Todd Hooper, the Vice President, and they are so gracious to sponsor the gifts that are given to our Teachers of the Year, the gift cards. Um, each teacher will be receiving a $100 gift card this evening on behalf of NFP. And we thank you, Todd, for your continued support of our Teacher of the Year program. At this time, Mr. Hendricks will come up for Sanders High School. When you think about the, the qualities of a, a good educator, you think about someone who is competent, driven, dedicated, and, and most of all, you think about someone who cares about kids. And luckily for us, our staff did a fantastic job this year selecting someone who meets all that criteria. Uh, Mr. Benjamin Frazier is a 16-year veteran of Cedartown High School. He works with our special education students and he makes our place better just because he's there. So our Teacher of the Year is Mr. Benji Frazier. Congratulations, Benji. Next we have Ms. Shannon Dunn, Cedartown Middle School. Gay Papa is a rare jewel. She has taught for 20 years. She started teaching in 1978 and taught first grade and then made the bold choice to stay home with her children for 22 years. And then she came back to Cedartown Middle School in 2004. And since that time, she has taught language arts and math at sixth, seventh, and eighth grade levels. And then a couple of years ago, we put her in the directed studies position because who better to help our struggling learners than someone who is an expert in both language arts and math. 
She's a sponsor for NJHS and does a great job with that. But she is just a true lady, and we are so thankful to have her at Cedar Hill Middle School, Miss Gay Pop. Congratulations, Mr. Chandler. Next, we have Eastside Elementary School, Mr. Wesley Cook. Tonight, I have the honor of uh, recognizing someone uh, that's special. All of us, are, all, if you look at all of these teachers, you're going to see that they all have magnificent qualities that, what, that makes them top notch. Um, my teacher is no different. Um, she definitely stands above, me, above the rest. Uh, you know, you say you, uh, you know, they give blood, sweat, and tears. She does. Um, she is really a magnificent teacher that loves her children, does treat them like their own, like her own. And she backs that up. If you can remember when we first went out on uh, our wonderful quarantine, Miss mm -hmm. Miss Natasha Rowell was the one that was on Fox Five that was standing outside her child's window just so she could make contact and check on them, and make sure that they're doing okay. And that's the kind of person she is. She's been doing this for nine years, and you would think that she's done it forever. She has the gift for teaching, and it is a pleasure working with her every day. It's my honor to recognize Eastside's Teacher of the Year, Ms. Natasha Rowell. Next, we have Northside Elementary School, Ms. Leanne Schiller. Um, it is such an honor to be here tonight to um, honor our Teacher of the Year from Northside Elementary, Ms. Oliver Brown. She is a first grade teacher for us. She uh, is a retired teacher from Alabama, taught there for 25 years, and has been with us at Northside for three years. And Audra is the teacher that you pray your child gets when they start when they go to first grade. She is like to me the epitome of a first grade teacher. What you think of when you think of a first grade teacher? Um, her classroom always um, is just running as smooth as possible. 
She absolutely loves those kids and they love her. I, I, I guess when I think about Audra, I've asked her this question before. I'm like, how after 25 years of, in, you know, and retiring from Alabama and then you come over here for 30, do you still have the excitement that you have? And she truly loves what she does every day. And, and to me, she has the excitement of a brand new teacher but the wisdom of a 30-year veteran. And we are just so fortunate to have her. And I'm just very blessed to have her as our teacher of the year, Miss Altima. school teacher, so I don't feel like I need a mic. This is such a small room. Um, our teacher of the year, he's great. I asked him today how long we've been teaching because I figured maybe a year or two, but he told me 10 years today, which amazes me because that means it's been about 15 years since he walked through the science department at Rockmore High School as a student, and now he's a biology teacher, which makes him the absolute best, and he is everything that you want in a teacher of the year. He is caring, he is kind, he is innovative, he is creative. There's just a whole list of things, but I'm gonna give you one thing. He always makes sure that he differentiates and that all of his students can learn in his classroom. And he does that by going out and he finds the dangest things that he teaches with. I can tell this story because his wife is not here and he said, don't tell my wife. So now that she's not here, he, um, there was a picture posted of him with about a million pool noodles. And he had found pool noodles and decided that he could teach DNA with pool noodles to students. So he bought them all. So I don't know how they fit in his car, but he said, please don't tell my wife. So she, she's not here. I figured I would tell that story. But he is great. He's a wonderful educator. And we don't know some days what we would do without him. Mr. Jason Purser. Middle School Teacher of the Year has been teaching for a total of 16 years. 
13 of those at Rockmark Middle School. During his time at Rockmark Middle School, he's coached wrestling for 12 years for us. He's also coached soccer for 13 years. Currently, he teaches language arts to 6th grade, 7th grade, and 8th grade. And he's also taught math for us during his time at, at RMS. And as an administrator, we're always excited and happy for the people who get nominated for Teacher of the Year. But this year, I was really happy to see Coach Maynard's name on, on the ballot. For eight years, I've been very impressed with his teaching, his classroom management, his care for his kids, whether he's teaching them or coaching them. He does these things quietly, calmly, but consistently. Comes to work every day, does a great job while he's there, and humbly goes about his business. Anything that he does from the classroom, to the soccer field, to hosting a large wrestling tournament, to his favorite thing, which was this past weekend, is uh, hosting our haunted hallway for the children. That's his favorite thing to do all year long. But anything that he's associated with, I don't have to worry about it because I know that it's going to be done right. So this year when I saw his name on the ballot, I was excited that although he would never draw any attention to himself, this meant that his co-workers noticed the same thing that I've seen for eight years, and that's a model of consistency. So the Rockmark Middle School Teacher of the Year this year is Coach Chris Maynard. Teacher of the Year. Ms. McLennan has been teaching 28 years, and all 20 of those years have been right here serving Cole County students. So that's a very impressive resume to right start off with. She was hired at Goodyear Elementary School back in 1992 as a Chapter 1 reading teacher that helped struggling readers um, get back on grade level. And so when the school opened in 2009, she transitioned over to Vanward, where she's now a fourth grade teacher. Ms. McLennan is a rock that uh, her team heavily relies on. She's uh, one of those teachers, when you get students coming in as a principal, you can always say, mm-hmm, they need Ms. McLennan. And she gets them in there and straightens them out and works with those kids and brings them around to being just a great student. Um, she's one of those teachers that when, you shut, when she shuts the door, you don't have to worry about her because you know she's going to take care of those kids and give them exactly what they need. Uh, so I'd like to uh, congratulate Ms. Daphne McClendon is January's Teacher of the Year. Elementary School, Ms. Larlick. I'm going to be nice, Miss Bennett. Miss <laughs> Cassie Bennett is Westside's Teacher of the Year. She is the type of teacher that every child wants to be in her classroom. She is kind and compassionate. She strives daily to meet the needs of every child in her classroom. We call her our very own Cinderella. Yes, she loves Disney. We are very blessed to have Miss Cassie Bennett as our Kindergarten Teacher of the Year at Westside Elementary. Thank you, Cassie.
congratulations, Ms. Bennett. Last but not least, Young's Grove Elementary, Ms. Lairon. Miss Rachel True. This is Rachel's 10th year in the classroom. She has served um, as a special education teacher, a fourth grade math teacher, directed studies teacher, and this year she's our distance learning teacher. And she has gone above and beyond to answer that call of duty this year. As has been mentioned previously, uh, we're in, in some uncharted waters that we've never traveled before. And she's done a great job in um, meeting with these students and talking with these parents and doing everything she can to make this year a good year for them and for us. Rachel is someone who um, goes out of her way to be involved with the students. If she needs, sees a need, she doesn't have to be asked. She just jumps right in and offers assistance, and she'll never know how much I appreciate that. Um, one thing I can say is um, if, if you need somebody to dress in costume, queen, or a uh, Rosie Riveter, whatever you need, she'll be glad to do that for you, and she's very competitive, very competitive. Um, last year, we had a volleyball, I mean, a dodgeball game as a reward for our students, because we don't usually do dodgeball, and she played, and some of us um, adults played, and what I will tell you is, she was easy on the kids, but some of us do evaluations, <laughs> but if she points you out, you better watch out because you're about to get a dog right between the eye because she can throw a dodgeball like a softball. I've never seen anything like it. I love you, Rachel. I appreciate you so much. And congratulations to you, our Teacher of the Year. District Teacher of the Year competition a little bit differently. In the past, um, teacher candidates have had to write a couple of essays, I say a couple because it was about 10. Um, and they all usually dreaded that when it came down to writing those essays. So this year we changed it up and they had one page to write, Who Are You as a Teacher? And then we bought a panel of business, industry, and educators from two other surrounding districts in and a retired teacher to judge our district competition. And they were so impressed. Um, our teachers answered questions like describe three words that your teacher, your students, or your students' parents would use to describe them and why. But the question that got most people and that they had the most time to answer, because we timed all the questions, was what is an educational issue facing educators today? You have been handed the microphone and asked to step on stage. What do you say? And they all did an excellent job. Um, of bringing to light many issues and how they go about solving many things that we see them do on a daily basis in their schools, which makes them all wonderful examples to represent us as their teachers of the year. So thank you for all that you do. And without further ado, this year we're going to um, recognize our district teacher of the year, and uh, NFP is providing an additional $100 gift card to our district winner. And at this time, we would like to recognize Ms. Rachel Truitt. <laughs> Like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when more videos become available on the Polk Today YouTube channel. I'm Kevin, the editor, and thanks for watching this Polk Today video.